According to the Better Business Bureau, bank customers collectively lose nearly $1 billion each year to theft when they use ATMs and other card scanners. The thieves are called skimmers, and they steal debit and credit card information. Students can avoid becoming victims of skimming by avoiding ATMs in poorly lit or low traffic areas. They should also avoid ATMs if cameras have been placed in areas where skimmers could be recording PIN numbers. If you encounter such a situation, report it immediately to the bank and closely monitor your account statements for suspicious activity. The San Marcos Activity Center has been serving the San Marcos community for over 12 years. Their facilities include two indoor basketball courts, aerobics rooms, indoor swimming pool, racquetball courts, a weight training room, and much more. Whether you want to master the art of yoga, strengthen your core, or are a senior looking to regain the strength of your youth, there is a fitness class to fit everyone's needs at the San Marcos Activity Center. For more information, call 512-393-8280 or visit the website. The San Marcos Activity Center is the place for San Marcos residents to get fit and have some fun. So come by today and visit the center of it all. Hula hoops seem to have taken over the quad this week. At Texas, St at Texas State, graduate student Jessica Ann Huntington has found a way to mix business, school, and pleasure. Huntington's business is called Hoop Hoop Hooray. She has set up a booth in the quad to sell her homemade hula hoops. The hoops come in different shapes and sizes and can even be personalized with colors and designs. Students are encouraged to try out the hoops and play for as long as they want. Huntington says she hopes her efforts to make money using her creativity will inspire other students to do the same. John High is a familiar face on Austin television. He's a sports anchor and reporter for the Fox affiliate. What you might not know is John's strong link with Texas State University. Tommy LeVere tells us more in this Bobcat Update. John High loves sports. You're apt to see him covering games throughout the Hill Country. For several years, he's been a go-to guy as part of the sports reporting team at Fox 7 in Austin. In the early 90s, John was part of another sports team, the football team here at Texas State, then known as Southwest Texas State University. He was quarterback, and he was a student. When not on the field, High spent a lot of time in Old Maine, where he was working on his degree in mass communication. He was learning how to be a television broadcaster. Gang violence is on the rise, and instead of parents worrying about their children learning at school, they now have to worry about their child's safety. Reporting for Channel 19 News, I'm John High. Dr. Lori Fluker says she remembers John's enthusiasm. John is someone who always yearned and sought for more knowledge than what we always just standardly gave in the classroom. So, you know, just a pleasant uh, opportunity to have a student like that. After graduation, John fulfilled his dream of being a sports broadcaster. Right. He's met many of the up-and-comers in sports as he once was, and he's met the legends. He'll never forget his encounter as a player against Michael Strahan, who would later become an NFL All-Pro defensive end. I made him look pretty bad when he was in college when they played against us. I threw for two touchdowns and ran for two as well. I was the Southland player of the week that week against him, so that was probably the best moment. Today, as a broadcaster, he is able to return to the campus to show his Bobcat pride. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tommy LeVere. Martindale is now wet, meaning alcohol, with certain restrictions can now be sold there. Residents last week approved a proposition that legalizes the sale of alcohol in the town, which is seven miles east of San Marcos. The town needs an economic boost. Many of its businesses have closed in recent years, and most voters apparently feel that alcohol sales will help generate needed revenues. Licenses to sell alcohol could be issued as early as next year. <laughs> 